Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Holotrak and we are playing Europa Universalis 4 with the newest DLC, Rule Britannia. Welcome back to our Netherlands campaign. Hey, it's been a while since I've recorded the last episode of this. I've been on holiday for a week trying to take a break from YouTubing and Twitching and all that kind of stuff. And now I'm back with uh, quite a bit more energy, which is kind of nice. I uh, just looked a bit through things. I watched the, the very end of the last episode, so we conquered Kilwa. Down here, we got our, ourselves some nice gold provinces and also ivory and stuff. Looking good, looking good. I like it. Tons of ivory, actually. Ivory coast over here. Actually, I don't think this is the ivory coast. I think the ivory coast is over here. Right? Yeah, ivory coast. All right, then. <laughs> well, we also have some ivory over here. Whatever. <laughs> We're the true ivory coast. Um, what I've seen is... Our trading fleet isn't really working over here. Why is that a thing? It's, I really don't get that. Why are we not trading? Like, we're only making 80 from trade. There are people saying, like, I should send ships somewhere else, but look at this. This trade note has 128 bucks. Like, it's uh, 128 ducats. It's the richest trade note in the world by far. Uh, way richer than Sevilla or Genoa or even Venice, which is hasn't really grown at all. I mean, Venice has also not done really well this game, so it's kind of difficult. Yeah, they're one province minor. Yeah, two province minor at this point, so they're not really that strong. But uh, I think it's still worth the most to just send our ships out here and try to get as much as possible from the English Channel. Um, is what I'm thinking. Why are you hiding? Currently hiding from enemy fleets that are too strong. What the hell? Let's go for mission settings. Aggressiveness. I mean, we have a tw 126 ships, which means we'll be able to hit just about anyone. Bold. On the bold setting, the fleet will have the courage to chase the enemy further than cautious fleets, as well as accept a little attrition. Ah, no, I, I get why. I get why. We actually took attrition from... I think we took attrition from the sailors, and that caused it to return. Okay, so this should work now. Uh, let me just see. Yeah, okay. So now our income should go up quite a bit. Yep. <laughs> sure, sure. So instead of... 45 we're making 152 because that's just fair <laughs> oh no it's also the spores of war okay that's skewing things a little bit i thought that is kind of weird should only be 50 up instead it's 100 up but yeah so we lost the conquest castle's belly we have to trade protection against british columbia sure um spain have have embraced manufactories Holy hell, Spain must be swimming in money. I haven't even embraced manufacturers and uh, it spawned in our country. So, how is that even a thing? Like, it spawned in Limburg and Spain just embra embraces it the day after it spawns? How is... How on earth? That just doesn't make any sense. Like, it's just like three days or something that it exists and then Spain is like... Yep, we got it. <laughs> we learned it from you. <laughs> uh, whatever. Whatever, Spain. Be like that. <laughs> okay. Natives lose some ferocity. Oh, man. This is moving really quick. Tobacco production in New Zealand. I'm going to tax it, because why not? Um, let's actually have a, a quick overview of the world. So we still have French Canada. And yeah, we should... Should probably try to push up north a little bit. New Luxembourg. Um, so they are setting those. I have no colonists to send. So that's not a thing. This is all still colonial Eastern America. Um, yeah, I actually have no problem if these guys get a bit stronger. But I should probably try to push for... Um, oh yeah, we already sent our, our our colonists out here. The question is, can we connect these guys? I'm not sure. I don't have an explorer up there, which is a bit of a problem. Um, how's the situation down here? Uh, someone someone told me that if I do development in one of my subjects, they become super happy. That's interesting. Nope. Wants military access. I'm not going to give anyone military access. Just go away. Hmm... 
We have a uh, 1,000 bucks, which is nice. Do we have any loans? No. We're just rich. We're just filthy rich at this point. <laughs> I like it. Very nice. We're only making a buck from trade currently. But um, that's going to change as soon as we manage to get uh, more of that stuff on our thumb. Ah, New Friesland is actually doing is doing okay. They're, like, they're colonizing down there. Um, I like it. I like it. Bring it, New Friesland. As long as you can, as long as you have the resources for it. I really would like to see Rio de Prata um, just get their butt kicked at some point. But I guess it's not going to happen. Dutch Caribbean. Yeah, we're definitely going to give this to... New Valonia, as soon as it's done. Uh, actually, we can do that now since we're at peace. So our like our Colombian subject, these guys lost a lot to British Columbia and the Dutch Caribbean. So it's only fair that they get some more land. Um, can I even give you that? I think I would do that in the Grand Provinces. So it's New Valonia. New Valonia, you shall have. What? Oh, okay. Well, I guess I guess we gotta go for that one first, and then the other one. Travel time. Where are my colonists currently? Where are my colonists? So, Fort Litzumheit. That's fine. Omskigo. Do we want that? Do we need that? I mean, we're filthy rich at this point, which means we can actually start tons and tons of colonies. So we recall that guy. Um, just wanna like colonize what we can. While we can. So this is Colonial La Plata, which is weird, because if I colonize that, it'll belong to these guys. Okay. But I'm going to help Colonial Brazil to grow a little bit stronger, I think. I think that makes the most sense. Mm, I also really want to colonize that one. Hey, I can actually. I can. I will. That cuts off England from this whole area. Beautiful. I like it. Um, I mean, we kind of have to conquer these ones as well, but uh, that's okay. So, Sofala is a gold province. Mm, oh, it has a shipyard and a church. Uh, can we build? Hmm. I mean, this kind of looks like a better spot for a fort, because it's going to protect uh, a ton of places. I think this is where we're going to build our fort in the area. Oh, we need to be a 10 development. Damn it! Really? I have a trade station in there. Man, these guys have... Yeah, I guess they have tons of money with their gold, so they can build all the buildings. Interesting. I mean, they don't even have a fort up here. W what's going on, guys? W what's going on? Why are you so greedy? They only built the money buildings. Okay, this is an important estuary. I, I guess I like that. We are going to take the gold provinces and make them actual core provinces. Or uh, proper states, I mean. How many of those can we have? I think it's in here somewhere. So we have five states and 15 territories. Uh, <laughs> sure, we can have 28 states. Um, right, we're probably not nearly where we want to be, but we've been mainly concentrating on our colonies, so I guess that's all right. It's not a problem, really. The West African Charter is still not strong enough. That's just weird. We currently control 33.5%. If we're a dominant trade power, then we get a merchant here from them. It might actually be worth it to just build a couple light ships and patrol this area. But for that, we also need more sailors. Um, Religion-wise, this is all nicely reformed at this point. We really could use more missionaries, but I think both of our missionaries are busy. All right, then we'll just we'll just let the game run. Caliber now has the culture we desire. Very good. Where are we? Come on, Caliber over here. Er. So it's it's Dutch and reformed. I guess I'll just give it to my trade company then. So we'll give it less tax and manpower, but increase its value for trade. Sure. We'll do that. No tax, no missionary strength, but that's fine. 
I mean, there's probably no need to actually give these to the trade company. We can take it away from the trade company at any point. And we will suffer some some damage to our production for a little while, but it's okay. Okay, so I can't build anything down here. Winster has died. Oh, uh, the guy we had the royal marriage with. We're spending a bunch of points here on weapon standards. Ooh, Morocco is seeding up. Holy hell! Portuguese Maghreb. These guys are going ham on these guys. Portugal. Being mighty aggressive there, my buddy. I mean, they are strong. Let me have a look at the trade goods that they have. Maybe they have some gold in the area? No, 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 no. Some tropical wood down there. I mean, the thing is, we kind of need to control this area. We really need to control that area. That is super important. Mm, there were people saying I should control the Cape. But in all honesty, like controlling this area is probably better than controlling the Cape. Just because... It doesn't really matter where it goes from the Cape. Like, the Cape only has one direction. And that is into the Ivory Coast. And if we control the Ivory Coast, we don't really need to control the Cape. So this is all being pushed towards the English Channel. Uh, like, a decent amount is still being pushed to Sevilla. 45% trade. Yeah, I guess if we give all of this to our trade company, our trade company will be decently strong. So that's good. We're only in 1651. Making tons of money, though. Changing patterns of consumption. Price of sugar goes up by 50%. Okay. Right. I like, I like that. Let's bring these guys into port. With one light ship. Maybe we'll just... Austria, cancel the military access. Maybe we'll just make these guys the... Ivory Coast. Hmm... We're gonna call this the Guinea Merchants. Okay, how many leaders can we have? Uh, we had four, four leaders already. That kind of sucks. Mm, I mean, I have two admirals assigned. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. No leader, but you'll go and protect trade in the... Where are we? Ivory Coast. Come on. Ivory Coast. We're already the strongest power in there, so... Sure. Let's do it. And then we can we can build more. Um, push them towards that fleet if we really need it. We have a really good Admiral. Pretty good General. <laughs> France is guaranteeing our independence. Really, France? I mean, we could have just stayed allies. It's just a thought. Holy cow, they don't hate me anymore. No, they still desire a bunch of provinces. Are you at war? Are you interested in Condottieri? I can't rent out any of my armies, that's fine. Uh, I mean, we're improving our relations with them. How far are we with that? We can still go for 50 more. Uh, they desire Sofala and Killa? France, you have... <laughs> you have just no business desiring these. Just manage your own crap. Actually, no, they have Comoros. Okay, so they actually have a bit of a reason to desire those. Now, what I wanted to do is I actually wanted to push in push in that area here. So I can't get over the fact that Malva... Oh, okay, right. Yeah, we want to we wanna build a spy network on Vijanagar. Because I want that center of trade. I want Cylon. That's going to be good. And then we also got to think about how we get this under our control. We have a pretty strong Ethiopia over here, which suits me just fine. Um, Mara, what are you? And uh, with the Mamluks. Yeah, we will probably come into conflict with the Mamluks over here, but these guys are like a non factor at this point, I'd say. So we have Anjuran. No one likes them. And they don't like me. I guess that's fair. I've been going at it pretty aggressively. 
We have Persia and Kaffa. Okay. I mean, Persia is definitely a power. The question is, can they even touch me? Like, who, who are your who are your friends, Persia? Who are your friends? Nogai, Ethiopia. Ah, they're rivals with the Commonwealth. Not sure why, but they are. They don't hate the Ottomans, so it's a bit of a problem. They embargo the Mamluks, and they're being embargoed by the Mamluks. So I doubt that the Mamluks just let them march through. It could be that they have a decently strong navy. How strong is Persia at this point? Um, Commonwealth Persia, 140,000 troops. Okay, that's not inconsiderable, actually. Like, quite a bit stronger than I am. I only have 80. Could go up to 92, which I probably will. Are we at the max? No, not quite, but getting there. Actually, keeping that in mind, we should probably build up our home army here. Or are we already doing that? No, we're not. So, one, two. So I have four cavalry, and then we'll go for... That brings us up to that. With 83 of 92. One, two. One, two, one. Like, we're filthy rich. Why don't we just have almost as many cannons as we have infantry? May we go for 1816? That seems like a good um, a good compliment. So that'll give us, what, 20, 38 troops over here. Will make me feel much better. I mean, it's not going to be super strong, but it's something. All right, a bunch of these colonies are almost done, especially Mosquito over here. That will allow me then to give most of these lands to my vassal. Losing trade protection, winning trade protection. It's still kind of bad that we are not in a position to touch Spain. It just annoys me, it annoys the hell out of me, but it's really nothing that I can do because they're super strong and they're allied with England and Portugal. <laughs> It's just, I don't think that would actually happen. Like, that is a huge, um, great power alliance. I mean, our natural ally would be France if they could just snap out of their delusions of grandeur. Come on. Want to be friends? Let's be friends. Yeah, these guys are privateering. I mean, it makes sense for them to privateer in the, in the English Channel trade note. It just does. Okay, so we've got... What was it? Sawyer. Ah, and someone is... Going for the drilling in my home. Because that's great. <laughs> in the house where I live. Perfect. Uh, do I give that to the trade company right now? I mean... We can't convert the province because it has separatism. Do we care about that? Like... For our religion... That's already pretty good, I'd say. And I kind of want the trade power boost that that gives us. So we have reformed, reformed, reformed. These guys are fetishes, but are soon going to be reformed. 12 months. Sure, we'll just, we'll just convert that coast up. Okay, everything over here is already reformed. A bunch of these guys are Dutch too. Mm. Yeah, maybe we'll just dispense with that. I wonder, can I... Can I culture convert a province that belongs to a <clears throat> trade company? Is that a thing? Yeah, these guys also have separatism. Let's just try it. Let's just make this part of the company. I want to disable automatic spread of institutions. Naval force limit plus 0.5. That's actually pretty cool. Like having a bigger naval force limit yeah, we should probably be able to still change the the culture at some point. I mean, maybe not. Maybe they're just going to be mad. But that can't really be helped. Um, these guys are fine. Let's see what else can we give to our trade company. Why are you culture converting this one? So I, I won't do it for now. These guys are already in the trade company. These guys can go. These guys... I can return the province. No, never. Give that one away. This one is just being converted. This one is almost converted. We'll add that to the trade company. This should give me an additional merchant, right? These guys are converted. Have that. 
Oh, we're still changing the culture over here. Interesting. We can do it over there. Okay. So that's done. <clears throat> Come on. Update. Now, France has embraced manufacturers. All these guys just embracing it willy-nilly. With no prerequisites, apparently. I just have one province with it. Um, but these guys can just go and make it happen. All right, then. Yes, that's fair. Mm, yeah, where's my trade company over here? Still not dominant. 43.4%, but we need 51%. Damn it. I mean, we'll get there, but it'll take a while. Commonwealth decided to accept the knowledge sharing from the Papal State. Everyone's embracing manufacturers, uh, except for me. I'm the only one that had it spawn, though, in his country, but <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, so we're building a spy network up here. We're building one in... Oh, we got Ngoyo. So let's actually give Ngoyo to our trade company as well. Dutch West Africa. That's nice. Mm, have we actually gone for a, like a, a trading doctrine over here what are we doing currently just maximizing profit we could also do other stuff hostile trading well that doesn't help establish communities improve relations yeah no oh i can just add them all to this interesting all right then we have a ton of power though we have a ton of power. We have 418 power. Spain is the next with 137. Yeah. We also have one ship in here. Intercolonial trade. Establishing colonial subjects overseas has allowed us to expand our trade while remaining in control, importing goods from lands that are essentially under Dutch control. As long as we supply our colony with what they need, they have no reason to start putting gold in the hands of our enemies. Sadly, the settlers sometimes have a different opinion from our stadtholder on what exactly they need. They have begun to trade with neighboring colonies and natives, circumventing trade barriers we put up to protect our nation's interests. This clearly benefits them, but whether it benefits us is highly doubtful. So we're going to piss off New Valonia. Sure. New Valonia, you're going to get pissed off. That's just the, the way of things. Okay, and then convert people. Fort Litzemheit is on the other side. We have Muyumba. These guys are already changed. I'll just try to do that coast first. Just so that I know where I have to go. Yeah, okay. So that'll take 16 months. Do we have an advisor that helps us with that? Yeah, we do. Okay, that's good. Mm, anything else? Stability will give us less unrest. Don't think we need the war for now. We are the defender of the reformed faith, which is kind of helpful because we get a second missionary from that. Mm, thinking we actually stop the weapon standards and the firearm techniques. Oh, we can't. 52. June 52. Right. I, I kind of want to stop these because we want the power. We have a colonial assembly. And we get the next military tech. Aren't we currently working on military ideas? No. We just finished the quality ideas. Okay, beautiful then. Well, definitely. Like We don't want to lag behind in, in tech. Um, change our leather cannons to swivel cannons. A highly maneuverable and portable cannon. Swivel gun was rather small, designed primarily for short-range warfare. Okay. That's that. Um, how disloyal is New Valonia now? 39%. They're actually pretty disloyal. Hey, and the West African Charter finally has over 51% trade power, so they give us a free merchant. Trier lost some spy network. <laughs> spy network size, that's good. Mm, not sure if I should make New Valonia bigger then, but I guess that's just how it's going to go. Mm, where do I put that additional merchant? Um, from the looks of things, we might probably want to have him here. Must be in range. Really? It's outside our trade range? You've got to be kidding me. I mean, we're not done coring these places, I guess. Once we're done coring them, which is another upside to this. We should be able to, to do things. And our great admiral died. That's a damn shame. 
Christoffel Tasman. Yeah, why not? And we always get good fire admirals because we have those national ideas. Marawi. Mm. I mean, let's let's actually go stability. Why the hell not, eh? Stability is fine. I wish I had something that would help me with uh, missionizing. We could think about going for some of the edicts that I just um, said no to. So, Blasphemy Act, Less Tolerance of Heretics. Uh, less Tolerance of Heretics. But we kind of want to be tolerant. It does fit the historical Netherlands. So, it's kind of what we want. Hmm. Simon Fleerchup. Troops feel good when they know a good person is directing operations. Simon Fleerchup is probably the greatest military mind our country has ever seen. Holy hell. Yes. <laughs> So, do we take 50 admin power or do we take the 50 prestige? I think we take the prestige, actually. Because that'll allow us, if push comes to shove, to keep our colonies down. We're gaining a lot each month. Great power, patron of the arts, South German organ tradition, power projection, house of Elsevier, and the defender of the faith. Nice. Very good, very good. Madonna can still not be called. This is going to take a while, actually. Yeah, we have a bunch of places that we could make states. I wonder if making a state out of things is actually going to be a thing that helps us with the trade, um, with the trade companies, though. Okay, no, these guys actually get those automatically. It's only the Mexican provinces that I need to give them. So where are we? Overseas, colonial, and trade regions. Yeah, this is all Mexico. They got Mosquito automatically, which is interesting. So, New Valonia. Well, I guess we do it via here. So, grant you Honduras. Yeah, and we'll also grant you shortly, I guess. Do I have a free colonist? No. Culture conversion. Yeah, we can just recall that guy. It's fine. Hmm. Are you done colonizing? You are. This is colonial Louisiana. Maybe we'll just start colonizing for colonial Louisiana over here. But then again, it would be really nice if we could connect these. Like, even if I have to go down that route, that would still be preferable to not having New Luxembourg connected at all. Colonial Canada, colonial Canada. Except for this part, which is Colonial Louisiana. Yeah, I think it I think it actually works better if I push down that route, get these guys to be one unified body, even it's if even if it's a little bit weird. And then we start Colonial Louisiana, if that is still a thing. Okay, so we got rid of that area. Um should probably just send two colonists over here to close that, and then the inland provinces can just be colonized by this colonial nation. On the other hand, they're almost done over here. They would probably move on to Lenka, which is fine. Then I won't have to support the colonies. So that's good. We're building a, a ton of manufactories. Can we actually build more manufactories at home? Is that a thing? Oh, we can upgrade everything to cathedrals too. Yeah. So... I mean, we do have the temples everywhere, so... Might as well do it now. We're just wasting building time. And the other guys are busy building something else. Manufactories, I guess. Let's do that. The more money we can get, the better. We need to be as rich as possible. It's the only thing that's really going to save us from the wrath of the other nations. We're gaining more sailors than we lose, which is something that I like. Um, how about these guys actually getting a couple more ships? How far are we there? Oh, I spent all my money. Sure. <laughs> Just spend a cool, what, 2,000 for all those cathedrals. Oh, well. Uh, for now, I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments. All that kind of good stuff. I'm happy to be back. And uh, I hope I see you in the next episode. Thanks. Bye-bye.